Airport security, a job I definitely should not be trusted with. Hello everybody, I'm Kyla Keen and welcome back to my airport where everybody is welcome. Except for those monsters that have the little tubes of toothpaste. Ridiculous. They're so tiny. This guy appears to have an Xbox gaming controller in his stomach. Should probably not be eating that kind of stuff. Although I'm not here to judge. I'm here to protect airplanes. He also appears to have a super soaker, which is a very strange thing to bring on a plane. But let's pat him down and, um, um, see what our policy is, although I'm the guy in charge, so I should probably know what our policy is on super soakers on a plane. So now I feel like maybe I should just pretend like I know what I'm doing until eventually I actually know what I'm doing. I don't think that's the way things typically work. Let's let this guy through. I, it's weird that he has a super soaker in his pocket. Probably shouldn't travel with things that are shaped like weapons. I also find it very strange that so many of these people that we scan have underwear in their clothes, but they're not actually wearing the underwear. What is happening? What? What is that thing on her shoulder? I need to know what that is. The underwear... <laughs> I don't care. That's fine. What is this thing on your shoulder, though? It's a book. That That's where you store your books? Okay. D let her through. I'm, I'm bad at this job, but I also feel like these people are at getting on planes. It's not just me. It's a team effort. Is anybody else disturbed by the fact that this lady is wearing a dress? We can see her leg. However, the body scanner has picked up what appears to be like brass knuckles in her leg. Egg? Did she have brass knuckles surgically implanted on her leg? Why? What is wrong with you people? Anyways, I, I suspect that brass knuckles are probably something that you shouldn't bring on to a plane. Like the sleeping mask and the headphones. Totally normal. The brass knuckles that have been surgically installed in your calf. Not okay. Knuckle duster. Oh my gosh, they have like spikes on the end of them. What's wrong with you, lady? Seriously, she's like, oh, and look at her. She's surprised that she's in trouble. Anyways, um, let's let's have Mario arrest this lady and um, and we'll just move on. I, I think at some point we're going to interrogate her, ask her some some questions like, hey, why did you decide to have knuckle dusters surgically implanted into your bones, you weirdo? All right, let's send some luggage through the x-ray machine. I know what it's called. I'm an expert. Clearly, I know what I'm doing. No weapons. This guy looks sus. Oh my gosh. Um, that looks like a weapon. Gonna go ahead and arrest this guy. Take him away. What is wrong with you people? Shoes could be a weapon if placed in the hands of the right person. But we'll let this bag through. We'll also let the backpack through. It's a lot of books. Seems kind of weird to be traveling with that many books. It's heavy. Someone won something. Congratulations. I, I'm sure you had a great trip. You deserve that trophy, unless you stole it from someone. That's not cool. Archibald! That's that's gonna be the dog's name from now on. I like it. We'll call him Archie. Find some bad stuff, all right, puppy? Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at this lady. Who do you think you are with that cool mohawk? My ex-boyfriend is a pilot here. I just need to speak to him for... Maybe she's a chef. It's possible, but um, I don't know. I mm. Listen, I'm trying to be reasonable, okay? That's a very large knife. Also, it's the only thing that's in your luggage. Why are you traveling with such a large bag? Well, no, actually, I answered my own question. It just strikes me as very strange to be traveling with no clothes, no actual luggage, and just a giant knife. Let's arrest her. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta do my due diligence, okay? Also, this is how I get paid. That's right. The more people I arrest, the more money I make. <laughs> that's super messed up. Anyways, let's take our cash and run away. Never look back. Can we afford to upgrade? Ooh, we can. Let's do it. Future mode. Let's go. Decor. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Wallpaper. Sure. Welcome to the future. I love that my desk is still super old school. And then also the like flight board. I don't, I don't know what that 
board is called. Transit board? Magical. I feel like a unicorn left it there. All right, let's see what this lady's up to. Howdy, my name is Emma Walker. I'm 29 and I'm from South Africa. You look like a different person, Emma. I'm gonna have to call you out. Feeling kind of sus. Can we just that right there? Is everything else right? Yeah, everything else checks out, but that's definitely a different person. <laughs> Get her, Mario. I'm 18 years old. It's, it's weird to start a conversation like, well, unless I asked, like, how old are you? But it seems weird to start an introduction with how old you are and not your name. Anyways, Jackson, you actually are totally fine at this point, but we still got some more tests for you. Annie from Austria, 70 years old. All right. Kind of dressed like a leprechaun. I respect it. Oh, hello. You like green, Evelyn. My name is Drew P. He knows. All right, Drew. He knows. Your nose looks fine to me, but your name does not. Sus. Everything. We'll just say that right now, the name is what's uh, causing some, some confusion, I would say. Maybe it was just a, like a dare. Like, I dare you to go tell the TSA agent that your name is Droopy Nose. It does feel like a, a practical joke, right? All right, Drew. He knows. What's going on here? You know you have the wrong person, right? Do I? I don't actually know why you're here, aside from the fact that you gave me an incorrect name. I like this response though. Probably, you can go if you like. The most trusting TSA agent ever. Like people just say one sentence to him and he's like, that checks out. The name you gave doesn't match the passport. Oh, you must be reading it wrong then. Mm. Again, extremely, again, overly reasonable TSA agent. Yeah, probably happens all the time. I'm act actually, I can't read at all. I don't know how I got this job, but some reason they, they hired me. It's crazy. Who are you again? And why are you here? No, um, this isn't a joke. You are committing a crime. Look, crossing her arms, just getting some attitude. It's not a big deal. Let me go. Now the goofy, reasonable TSA agent is conflicting with like the hardcore get em TSA agent. I feel like both of these options are kind of extreme, but I like the idea of just letting her off with a warning. If someone asks you for your name, give them your real name. There's no reason to make it up. Although I would, I do respect the fact that it was kind of a, a joke. You know, it was a funny name, Bart Simpson style. All right, let her off with a warning. I'm sure you're very happy with the results of the, I, I didn't like that little smirk that she gave us at the end though. Like I knew you were gonna let me go all along. She kind of had some attitude. Now I regret my decision. It's what I get for trying to be a nice guy. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. You look dizzy. Maybe sit down for a second, but first step into my teleporter. Oh, it's a body scanner. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, oh, you know what? Let's tase him. I want one M and a ticket to Mexico. What's an M? <laughs> I know that he's saying one million dollars, but the way that he is explaining that is just a little strange. I like how I'm more concerned about the fact that he wants to go to Mexico and not the fact that he's asking for a million dollars. But let's ask him, Mexico, you could choose a much better place to run away to. Why not? Hurry up. We are working to get you the money. Please just let them go. We'll let you go free. No, I like the idea of giving, giving him the money. No, I don't believe you. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't. We don't have a million dollars. Have you seen this place? You think we got a million dollars laying around? <laughs> What? Criminals, you gotta choose some more valuable targets, okay? Let's stun him. All right, let's get this guy. Aim for the forehead. Blast him. <laughs> All right, save the day. Ah, job well done. Let this weirdo through. I don't know why I called him a weirdo. He did just get held up. Leprechaun lady, just uh, packing an entire ax, huh? In that jacket of yours. No, that, that seems totally normal. Um, ma'am, we're gonna have to confiscate that. What is this? Is this a laptop? How do you fit all this stuff in your jacket? I think that's the most impressive part. Hey, but on the bright side, she's prepared for sun. She she had sunblock. It wasn't actually a laptop, it was a tablet. Still, the fact that she fit all that stuff in that jacket, it must have a lot of pockets, a lot of compartments. I'm impressed. Let's arrest this lady. <laughs> Can't bring axes onto planes. Wait, what? Where was Mario? Mario was supposed to give her the people's elbow. You have nothing. That's incredible. This is the first sane traveler that we've seen. You, I, I would love to give you a million dollars. I feel like you earned it just for not bringing any insane stuff on a plane. Ah, Archibald, let's do this. Okay, leprechaun lady. She apparently, she got out of whatever trouble she was in for bringing an ax on the plane. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> I totally forgot that I had this entire axe in my jacket. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry, you guys. Anybody want a candy? That was my impression of the old lady getting out of whatever trouble she was in. Uh, you? No, not sus. Okay. We'll, we'll keep searching. Keep looking. We're getting closer. W oh, we're definitely getting... It's you. I love that suitcase. What? Get out of here. This is for self-defense. You can't prove otherwise. Who? Against who? Against me? Get this guy out of here. Can't be bringing guns. What's wrong with you? It's also entirely made of gold. It's kind of cool. You should probably just sell it. Make some money and stop getting yourself arrested on planes. Hello, ma'am. What? Oh, she's doing the bribing thing. I don't buy your bribes. Oh. Z Zo cop? I'm from Mars. No wonder she was bribing me. She's kind of insane. Or, you know, I mean, maybe we should hear her out. Maybe she is an alien. You can't just make up a name like that. Zo cop? However, her passport says differently. We're gonna call her out on it, but maybe we can get some more information later. Um, also, you're you're not British, you're you're Martian. Just saying. Take her away, Mario. Page Turner! <laughs> Page Turner is my name. Definitely. I, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very convincing. I'm 39 and from New Zealand. Your passport says slightly differently. First of all, you're a different person. Also, Alex. Also, Ireland. Man, you really messed this one up, lady. Get out of here. No chance. I am far too observant to overlook something like that. What's up? What's up? I'm Michael Dahl and I'm 24, man. Is he saying that he's a 24-year-old man? Or is he like, surfer dude, 24, man? Either way, um, his passport says that his actual name is Peter Pan. And he looks really good for 88. I am impressed. I'm also going to have to arrest you for having what appears to be a fake passport. Oh, let's go! We get to interview! I mean, not interview. Interrogate. Much more intimidating that way. Uh, Elon Musk's daughter. No, uh. The, the Martian lady. Let's let's see what she has to say for herself. Zeep zoop zap. Mm, a compelling argument indeed. Your passport says you are British, not Martian. However, I do want to respond with something that she might understand. Something that's a little bit more familiar to her. Using her own dialect. Like, for instance, zoop? Apparently. <laughs> Saying zoop means you're good, you can go. I'm, I'm still working on my Martian. Um, haven't quite worked out all the, the kinks yet. Still brushing up on my intonation. Is that a word? That's something that people say when they're talking about language, right? I believe her. What can I say? She was definitely a Martian. Let's see what's going on with this guy. I think this dude was like, I love explosives. And of course, being the fool that I am, I was like, come on in, pal. That's awesome. Thanks for letting me know, <laughs> even though I didn't ask at all. Let him through. I like this guy. I like his gumption and his uh, passion for things that go boom. What's this? What's, what's going on there? You got a candy cane on your shoulder? We can't have that. Let's see what's, what that is. It is a candy cane. It is indeed a candy cane. What's going on with your leg? A chocolate bar? Is that chocolate bar from another country? Are you smuggling chocolate bars? Is that what you're up to? Make her sweat a little. Get this wool out of my face even though she wasn't really in my face there was no reason to arrest that woman what can i say i'm terrible at my job look at this guy wow we should we should uh double check the fact that he has nothing on him Whoa. it said no objects found i didn't even have the opportunity to arrest him i kind of wanted to arrest him this woman ate a pair of headphones so that's cool um i feel like for doing something like that you need to be taken down you're actually a monster what's wrong with you get get her out of my sight i can't i can't even look it's awful what's wrong with people these days bringing headphones on airplanes send it through the x-ray no liquids okay so weapons totally fine tarantulas yeah no problem if you got a water bottle you're you're gone 20 years in lockup no chance all right you're good you're good is that tabasco also i'm pretty sure that's a gas canister what is wrong with people it's not the fact that it's gasoline that has me troubled it's the fact that it's a liquid get this man out of here or woman take her out mario do your job it's a me the people's elbow i'm i'm sorry i 
had it had to be done. Um, yeah, you're good. Ah, it's the lady that ate the headphones. I hope you learned your lesson. That'll teach her. She'll never eat headphones again. Or maybe she will. It's really none of my business. Hey, can we upgrade? Let's see what's going on with our desk. Ooh, a future desk. Let's do it. That's actually awesome. I have a little tiny halo on my desk, and it's beautiful. Let's see what's going on with these people. Lucas. <laughs> Lucas, you look like Doc Brown. Passport, that is. Um, everything is good here except for the fact that you're not the same person in your passport. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, all right. So, my name is Harper Gray. We talked about this in, in previous episodes of this game. Starting your introduction with so. It's weird, okay? It's like you're overly confident about your lie. Yes, her name is Harper Gray. She is not 46 years old. Why are you upping your age? Normally, people do the opposite. Sus. She is not 29. Although, she looks like she's 29, but she's telling people that she's 46. It's, it's a weird kind of situation and perhaps arresting her for that is a little overkill but i'm just doing my job this man needs to put some pants on <laughs> what is wrong with you sir are we gonna let you through <laughs> you have a mace or a flail what is happening i need to tase this man i want a whole new wardrobe of designer clothes now you know what based on what walked into this airport wearing i really want to help you with that i really genuinely want to help this guy do you want shoes as well i love that question yes and don't forget accessories. Accessories. Got it. I don't want to arrest this guy. I just want to get him some clothes and maybe give him a hug. I feel like that's all he really needs. I don't really have much choice, though. So I am going to arrest him or at least have Mario do the arresting for me. Mario's a real go-getter, and I respect it. Another super soaker. Just come on. You're fine. It's great. Oh, hello, weird Indiana Jones guy. Yeah, I knew this was the kind of person that would have an animal, a live animal somewhere in their pockets. My dude is trying to bring a squirrel on the plane. Can't have that. Or at least we can't have that without knowing the name of the squirrel. Does the squirrel have his proper ID? That's the only issue here. We need to talk about this. I'm hoping that we can talk to this guy, interrogate him. We're not going to have the opportunity to interrogate squirrel guy. In fact, no one has seen squirrel guy and no one ever will. <laughs> so I guess we're never going to see squirrel guy again. <laughs> Look at this guy. I mean, if that's how you want to dress when you get on a plane, more power to you. I do feel like there are going to be some questions that would otherwise not have been asked if you weren't wearing an outfit that makes you look like you're an escape prison convict. Quite the fashion choice. Quite the fashion choice indeed. Let's find what? What? Is it you? For real? You got a cat? I'm allowed to bring him. He's my emotional support. I agree. You get to keep your cat. The idea of like a cat on a plane that isn't in any kind of enclosure seems very funny. I would hate to be on that flight, but it does seem pretty funny. I think I definitely earned my pay today. Oh, hey, look, a ninja. Certainly, he won't cause any problems on a flight. Definitely gonna let him through. 